Welcome back to ESPN 8, The Ocho, for Moxie Games 3, Jugglers Under Attack. I'm Jason Garfield, founder, president, and CEO of the multi-billion dollar enterprise known as the Moxie Games. Joining me once again is Las Vegas magician, host of his own TV show, and three-time best-selling author, Penn Gillette, and Vegan Donuts. Penn Gillette, your thoughts? Oh, I, I like Vegan Donuts. These are actually the same donuts we ate together in our episode of Fast Food. I remember those. They're good. It's the yeah. same, same brand. Same brand. Yeah, we ate those, but these are from the same place. They're good. You would swear the Bavarian cream is dairy, but it's not. It's not. It's not? It's or they not. say I it's mean, they, not. Yeah, who really knows? Did you run a test on it? No, no didn't I didn't. Test on it. You know. Today, we have an unbelievable lineup of outside-the-box sports, including Vision Glow Club Dodge Juggle, Pettis, Glow Combat Juggler, and Lightsaber Battle, just to name a few. Pendulite, your thoughts go. I'm very, very excited, Jason. Mostly about the uh, vegan donuts. Uh, Adam Candy, you're up. Today on Moxie Games 3, Jugglers Under Attack kicks off with Juggler on Juggler Action, also known as Combat Juggling. Can Juggler Josh Horton of YouTube fame and 400,000 plus subscribers make his way to the finals? Uh, don't answer, that's rhetorical. And plus, this show is pre-recorded and we can't hear you. The attack on jugglers continues with the most strictly judged Olympic-style sport juggling competition. If you ever thought you saw the best juggler in the world, chances are you were dead wrong. Especially if you juggled to Beatles music. Rules torn from the gymnastics code of points dictate what these jugglers have to do to earn this year's $100 uh, dollar grand prize. Hundred? It's not missing any zeros there? No, it's a hundred. It's a hundred. Oh, okay. Let me take it from here. New this year is the Seven Vision Glow Club TKO featuring Australian, Norwegian, and German competitors. We've also got Zone Ball and the hottest new sport to land on the Ocho, Dodge Jump. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to want to pop Ganga popcorn. Hook your catheters up and glue your dad bod buns to your recliner as we get ready to ignite Moxie Games 3, Jugglers Under Attack. Brought to you by Zappos. Going to his backside. What a save by we Sniper. We do indeed have a new sport to present to you. We're trying to settle old scores here. Turning us back on the judges twice Ooh. now. Right into singles. Oh, Tony. The low first of motion. Is what are you doing, Jefferson Freer? Schmeister for the attack. Dylan Clark Oden with the headshot. Mike Dumpy Drawers. Dozier dumps himself into the that zone. That was the back of the head. Can you believe it? The back of the head. Andrew Ketchum just wailing away at Josh. Drogshaw with the fancy footwork. We now are going to shift our focus back to the Expo stage, where the World Juggling Federation right, overall back, championship please. is about to begin. I'm going on break to get my grub on, but here to guide you through the sport of competitive juggling is World Juggling Federation President Jason Garfield and Ivan Passell. Thanks, Adam. I am Jason Garfield, president of the multi-billion dollar international sport juggling organization known as the World Juggling Federation. Joining me is retired WJF competitor Ivan Passell. Thank you, Jason. It's, it's great to be back. Yeah. Well. If juggling were in the Olympics, this is what you'd be seeing. You know, there's been so much misinformation about juggling spread all over the world for centuries. As you know, Ivan Passell, one of my main goals in creating the World Juggling Federation was to show that difficult juggling does not involve fire, knives, chainsaws, bowling balls, or juggling while eating an apple. Because, you know, they're only doing three of them. Yeah, but... And maybe they're just really good at eating apples. I mean, look. Does this look difficult? Yum, yum, yum. Nom, nom, nom. I'm not actually going to eat them on camera because, you know, chewing noises and misophonia, but you get the point. Now, if you want to see what real difficult juggling looks like, do not change the channel. An international lineup of the world's best jugglers, judged mercilessly, scrutinized down to the very core of their abilities, is about to hit the Ocho hard. Hard like a hammer. You take a picture and I might take your hammer. I also created all the rules. Rules with the sole purpose being to make it as difficult as possible to earn a perfect score. Now that I do remember. Now we started with the Seven Vision Glow Club TKO. The world's best seven club jugglers from as far away as Norway, Australia, and Germany. Each winning the WJF Online Seven Club Video Competitions and earning a free trip to SkillCon 5, Moxie Games 3, and WJF 14. Ivan winning his free trip with a mind-blowing nine clubs. But now they're all on a level playing field, each using seven officially sanctioned Vision Glow Clubs. Phase one tested the competitor's ability to simply throw all seven clubs up once and catch them. Proving to be more difficult than it sounds for some. These guys don't practice the first seven throws, they practice the first hundred throws. 
which certainly poses a chicken or the egg paradox, but we don't have to get into that right now. In phase two, the competitors had to demonstrate 14 throws and 14 catches. Best out of 10 tries scored one point for each successful set of 14 catches. Phase three tested the competitors at the 21 catch mark. Same make it take it point system. It was rare, but on occasion, all three competitors completed close to 21 catches each. I mean, we might as well say they did. There's no way you could possibly count all three of them in real time. But after round three, Ivan Dragsha and Christian Hauschild were in the lead. Joe Fisher was kicked to the curb, lagging behind by just one point. Objectivity can be cruel sometimes, but Hauschild and Dragsha moved on to the final round, the longest seven club run. Best three out of five attempts, whoever juggles seven clubs the longest three out of a possible five rounds. <gasps> one, begin. Christian and Ivan round one. Christian quickly taking that round. Ivan's seven club pattern exploding almost immediately. Here we go in round two. Ivan's pattern may be lasting a little longer, but exploding again. It's like he's juggling time bombs. Christian with the 2-0 lead. One more win and Christian takes the seven club TKO. This round lasting the longest so far. And this time it is Christian who drops first. Round four begins, and before we get going, Ivan is down again, and Christian gets the first three rounds. Christian oh, Hauschild man, Christian is the WJF Seven Club TKO champion here at WJF 14, Moxie Games 3, and SkillCon 5. And now it's time for the WJF main event, the short program starting with five balls. Indeed, two minutes for each competitor to demonstrate their most difficult moves and connections with five balls. All right, who's up first? First up we have Christian Hauschild representing Germany. All right, Christian, two minutes to demonstrate your most difficult moves and connections. Five balls into the passing zone pretzel. That's what that move's called there. That, this one? That's the passing zone pretzel. Invented by the passing zone. Something like that. Certainly named after them. But um, know, you can see how that's a pretzel by. formation with his, with his arms there. I can. So he, he uh, his arms go very high. His hands are very, almost to his shoulders, it seems like, for his natural... For his, his throat release height? Yeah. yeah. Well, some people keep their hands low and just kind of pop the throws up with their wrist. I think that limits your accuracy and ability to throw high, but, you know, what do I know? I'm only the president of the multi-billion dollar sport juggling organization. Noise! Very nice back crosses, and then connecting those into overhead throws. Ah. No, no, Christian, no. It's not so good. That's better. That was a one high, four low, 360 into 744. Now we call the high throws sevens and the low throws fours because of math. Do a quick internet search of site swaps if you're looking for some Roland reading material. <laughs> but look at the background. He's lining yeah. up his hands behind his shoulders. Transitions. You know who invented that transition? Who the first person was to do that transition? You invented a lot of transitions. Yeah, nobody was doing transitions before me. It wasn't I thing. was the one that said, no, there's got to be a better way. Why do we have to keep going back into the basic pattern? Can't we all save time and go from one trick to another? <laughs> right. That'll make it. Uh, I changed the world. Up next is Ivan the Drags Joe. Drags. Drags. Drags Joe? Drags Joe. Ivan the Drags Joe. He's from Norway. Says Drags Joe. Ivan's got some nice back crosses as well. Connecting that right into a 5-up 360, into that 7-4-4 pattern. Oh wait, no, that was a 6-x4, um, which are simultaneous high and low throws. Yeah, those are nice, uh, those are nice connections. Uh, 360s into 6-x4 and 6-4-x. Yeah, he likes those. Uh. You, you gotta know when you're ready to perform these things. But uh, hopefully he'll try to turn things around here. He's going for a one high, four low, five up, 360. Down! Oh, damn! So, you know, you compare this to the first WJF, probably same amount of drops, but the difficulty of the moves. You know, I don't think so. I, I, I feel like there was a lot less drops uh, back in our day, but also the, the level here is extremely high. But just like in any sport, the level has gone up so much in 12 and 13 years that... Uh, well, you can't say the skill level has gone up if they're making more mistakes. Well, a lot of this stuff, like people, we wouldn't even have attempted. And I mean, they are getting well for good reason because they're they're messing it up. 
Right. Not all of it, but Not look at that. It, I mean, yeah. come on. Was that solid? Can you get that ten times in a row perfectly? No. Come on, Dragja. Come on. Keep your balls off the floor. Two stage 720. That's the big boy version. Quite a bit of stumbling around there, but he kept his balls off the floor this time, so you know that's a win for anyone in any sport. See, I look at his back rest. See, right. He's working a little harder. His elbows he are is. sticking out because he's a little bit bulky. He, he, he has those lats, like he yeah. climbs the rope in gym class. Yeah. That's the two stage 720. Now look at this this stumbling at the. Oh, no. Yeah. Got it. Got it. It wasn't horrible. Uh, All right. It wasn't horrible. But uh, it wasn't smooth, and there will be deductions for that. We've saved the most difficult for last, the five club short program, and we're going to see that right after this. And welcome back to the Moxie Games. We are continuing the World Juggling Federation overall championships with the five club short program. Up first, Christian Housechild. Five club short program. It's time for a cruller. Five club flats were always really difficult. They still are. And of course, by flats, we mean no rotation of the clubs. Five uh, That's in doubles. doubles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these guys got good control and connecting to triples. Does that get you, you can points? Do, yeah, you can do both because I've determined that they're different tricks. Okay. Just because you can do five club back crosses and doubles, doesn't mean you can do it in triples. It is true. And he did the doubles again there because he did it once in connection to the other back crosses, that time just alone. So look, and now he's doing that by itself too. Yep, okay. exactly. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah. It's called playing the game. It's called doing more with less, actually, as Zappo's core value. And there's the uh, 6x4 pattern, simultaneous high throws from one hand and low throws from the other. And the high throws are crossing, the low throws are not crossing. So it's like, it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Uh, while doing 6x4 with five clubs. He's got a real wide pattern in his life. Yeah, that's a form error that's kind of been embedded. No one ever corrected him, he never noticed it, and now it's part of everything he does. And for some reason he's doing a 5 up 360 with his back, back turned to us. That's right. Turning his back on the judges twice Two now. Of them, right into singles. Into sing if you can tell from behind because... Maybe he doesn't know which way he's facing. He, he might be a little he's disoriented. Looking up. Yeah. Back crosses and doubles connected to triples. I mean, he is wobbling around a little bit. He's walking. Almost every every throw, there's a step taken, though. I don't like that. There's a deduction for every step you take. If you take a step with every throw, you lose the points You're for almost every better just not doing anything. Scotty Meltzer scored higher than some competitors one year as a judge. Because <laughs> some of the competitors had a negative score. And Scotty had just, just a zero. Just by yeah. not trying. What's his name? All right. A house child. He's got good control over the club, so yeah. he keeps everything nice and... It's colorful, Within I like his, his body contrast, frame. contrast to props, to his outfit. I feel like he's dressed like a competitor. Yeah. I feel like he's in it to win it, you know? That's the first chapter of my book, Dressed for Success as a Competitive Juggler. 5 up 360 huh. into 7-4-4, those high throws are sevens, the low throws are fours as singles. Uh, when I competed, I wore puka shells. You don't see too many competitors doing that anymore. No, uh, that's one of the reasons why you didn't win, though. Yeah. One of I many. I can see that. One of many. <laughs> there were, <laughs> There's, uh, there were several. Reasons. It didn't help that I wore them. So we have the low ones are, are doubles too. It's lots lots of spins. That's a nice good, garbage that's, collect. That's, we call that a garbage collector. Really good collect. He used his crotch to catch one of them. Yeah. Nine seven five two connected nine seven five three ones. Good hard trick with clubs. Caught one on the wrong end, fix it. He is such a beautiful Norwegian specimen. I hope Jefferson Freire comes out and tears his shirt again. Did I say that out loud? A six, four, five into, into nine, seven, another five, double. Three. Wow, he's got yeah. that one down. We're back crosses. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That made me uncomfortable. That made me feel dirty. Now yeah, he just said, forget it. I don't even want another donut. Oh, he's not even going to try again. No, I like to end a lot of my shows with a, an apology. He was like, I don't even know why I did that. that it, could be part much, of the... it could be twice as good and still bad. It is the type of thing we don't need to say, so we'll focus on the positive. Very nice 5-up 360, all five clubs up, and spinning that gorgeous meat package 360 degrees around and then connecting to 744. More 744. Into a 3-up 360 and into singles. Bunch of connections there. 
Look at with that. Garbage right, dirt right in the got them between all. his knees. And after all the scores were tallied from all the competitions within the WJF overall championship, many of which we did not have time to show you, but as you can see, Christian's score is the highest, which means Christian House Shield is your WJF 14 overall champion. Congratulations, Christian. That was some of the best juggling ever to air on the Ocho. And it'll only get better next year. Feeling pan, Moxie games got you on the hook, so now we're gonna reel you in. Throwing up the pins, I still call him pins. Josh Horton back up in the game, is he gonna win? Sniper short, springing headers to a new level. Will he keep the crown? You'll find out when the dust settles. Zone ball, throw the other pass, and you catch him multiple scores. Teach him dumpy chores, a life lesson. Time for the main event. Dodge, juggle, watch out. Five against one, sounds good till you're knocked out. Ball's coming in hot, duck your head, don't drop. Use your periphery, you might get popped. Clubs in the air, keep them going, I don't care if you think it's fair. Drop one and you out of there. Not a free for all, teamwork is how you win. Keep it going like, yo, Adrian! Don't watch it, the Moxie games. Check it us. Under attack. Ooh. Balls in the air. Balls in your hair. And balls in your face. And balls in your face. Yeah. It'll only get better next year. <laughs> <laughs>